All right, you're looking at a funny angle shot of um, my new Schwinn Paramount Series 7 PDG. Uh, it's from 1992, made in Japan, just like me. I got a couple questions about it. We'll start right here. Um, this screw is bent up. Both of them are. Um, and I want to know, is there anything special I need to know about that screw? Um, do I need to get a certain metal? Can I just go buy a stainless steel one uh, at the hardware store um, and replace it myself? Uh, obviously, I'll keep the springs and put a new spring, or uh, you know, use the same spring. Um, this little hole, I presume, is for the derailleur. I've never built a bike before, never owned a road bike before, um, so I know I, you know, from mountain biking experience, I can tell tell what that is. That's pretty clear. Uh, that little hole right there, and there's another one up here, uh, and on the other side of the bike over here, uh, there, there are the same thing. Any idea what those holes are for? I'd love to hear about it. Um, there's a little peg sticking out here. There isn't one on the left side. Um, and just wondering what that's for. If you have an idea, love to hear it. Um, let's go down by the cranks. Um, these are threaded inside. And just wondering what size, are they all different sized or is it universal sizing? Is it going to be hard for me to find the pieces that I need? Um, can work our way up and you can see the Centaur brakes I got on Craigslist. Um, their Campanolo is never used. The brake pads are, um, you can tell they're brand spanking new. Um, 35 bucks, I was pretty happy about that. Um, let me get adjusted here. One of the great things I like about this bike um, is that the brake cables go inside the top tube and they run down here. Whoops. Um, so that's kind of neat. I assume that I'll just stick the cable in and keep fishing it around until it pops out the backside. Uh, if anyone else has a better idea, I'd love to hear about it. Um, so if we work our way down, one of the other questions I have is um, how do I know what size tires to put on this thing? Um, are there any guidelines or do I just grab something and throw it on? see if it fits. Um, there's another one of those holes right here and there's one on this side as well. If you have any idea what that's for, I'd love to hear about it. And I think the final question I have is what in the heck is this little cone that sticks out? What is that for? Um, if you have any idea, let me know. It's kind of a neat, weird little thing. So, um, yeah, I guess that's it. That's my bike. Um, I'm going to take it tomorrow to the Bicycle Kitchen here in Los Angeles. Um, they're a nonprofit group that kind of teach you how to fix bikes and, and how to get your bike on the road. So that'll be cool. Um, but I thought I'd check with you guys first to see if, um, if you might have any advice for me before I head down. So thanks a lot. I'll do another video as we get more pieces on the bike. And uh, talk to you later.